San Francisco, California, where I thought I'd need my gadget debugger goggles. Let me check my top secret instructions from the chief. Investigate gold on Golden Gate Bridge. Take cable car to other famous sites. And wait for cable car to stop before you get off. trip, I left it in San Francisco. Maybe it's at the toll booth on the Golden Gate Bridge. You know, the Golden Gate Bridge is probably San Francisco's most recognizable symbol. It's also its most recognizable bridge. Where exactly is San Francisco? Go, go, get it close. Go to the west coast of the United States in Northern California. When you hit border, you've gone too far. The Golden Gate Bridge connects San Francisco to Sausalito, California. Aha! Another top secret field trip fact. The words Golden Gate actually refer to the waterway which connects the San Francisco Bay to the Pacific Ocean. This bridge isn't golden, it's orange. Good thing they didn't paint it purple. Who'd want to sing San Francisco, open your purple gate. Wowzers, this bridge needs to go on a diet. It weighs 887,000 tons. That's as much as 170,000 elephants. Each tower of the Golden Gate Bridge rises 746 feet high. to 40 million cars cross this bridge each year. That means over a billion cars in the last 50 years. They even charge a toll for my gadget mobile. The deck of the bridge is literally suspended in midair by vertical ropes held up by cables which are draped over the top of the tower. That's why it's called a suspension bridge. 318 feet of cold water right beneath the span. So, don't go, go over the edge without your gadget swim face. The Golden Gate Bridge is one of the world's most spectacular engineering marvels. Would you believe men without bionic gadgets built this bridge by hand? Would you believe steam shovels? How about a sandbox and three kids with a pail? Luckily for the bridge builders, not to mention the boats floating underneath, safety nets were hung below the bridge so workers wouldn't fall into the frigid waters below. They caught 19 less than sure-footed workers. What a riveting experience. 600,000 rivets were used on each tower to keep the bridge together. Wowzers, that's over a million rivets. 
The building of the Golden Gate Bridge was good for construction workers. Many safety laws came into being. Ouch! It was the first job where hard hats were required. Workers were even tied to the bridge so they wouldn't be gone with the wind. 80,000 miles of wire no thicker than a pencil were wound and spun together to make the three-inch thick cables. That's enough wire to wrap around the earth almost four times. It just seemed easier to make the bridge out of it. Painting the bridge is a never-ending process. It takes 10,000 gallons of orange paint to cover the entire bridge. That's enough paint to cover about 500 orange houses. Finally, in May 1937, after four years and 25 million hours of work, the Golden Gate Bridge was finished. 200,000 people walked across the bridge that day. After waiting that long, it seemed like the thing to do. An Inspector Gadget field trip fact. At 4,200 feet, the Golden Gate was the longest single-span bridge in the world. Today, the longest single-span bridge is the Humber Bridge in England. It's 4,626 feet long, but it won't get you to San Francisco. There's the famous island prison called Alcatraz. I've sent a few criminals there in my time. They say it's a great place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. And there's the Bay Bridge. Downtown, even the Transamerica building and the Golden Gate Bridge. Loud, ready, fire. We're at Fort Point National Historic Site at the base of the Golden Gate Bridge. Go, go, gadget cannonball. Oh, that's right. I don't have a cannonball. Fort Point is one of my favorite places. It was built in 1853 to protect the San Francisco Bay Area from hostile fleets. It must have worked because it's still here. Wowzers! More than eight million bricks were used to build the five foot seven inch thick walls that protect this fort. Over the years, hundreds of cannons were mounted here. One of them could shoot a cannonball 3.2 miles away. 465 American soldiers lived here during the Civil War. They had to sleep two to a bed, facing opposite directions. It was a strict rule that they wash their feet twice a week and their socks twice a day, I hope. And they thought the cannons were keeping the enemy away. You don't want to powder your nose in the powder room at Fort Point. It's gunpowder, and that's nothing to sneeze at. Fort Point stopped being a fort after World War II and never once did a battle occur here, except for a couple of sock skirmishes in the laundry. At least they had a nice view and could commune with the sea lions, who washed their feet every day and could balance cannonballs on their noses. Wowzers, the world's largest fire nozzle. Oh, it's Coit Tower, the best place for a 360-degree view of San Francisco. Rising 180 feet above Telegraph Hill in San Francisco, Coit Tower was built in 1933 to add even more beauty to San Francisco. But legend has it that this tower resembles a huge fire nozzle. Lily Coit, who paid for the tower, was the most loyal fan of the San Francisco firefighters, especially after all their hard work during the great fire that devastated San Francisco following the famous 1906 earthquake. I bet the firefighters could have used a nozzle this size in 1906. According to my gadget map, 
We're either at the Great Pyramids of Egypt or in the middle of San Francisco staring at the Transamerica Pyramid. It's even taller than the Golden Gate Bridge. Time to investigate. Go, go, gadget copter. According to my keen detective sense, the Transamerica Pyramid Building is an 853-foot-tall skyscraper. Wowzers! This pyramid has 6,000 windows, which is good news for the window washers. There are 50 floors of offices bustling with activity, and there's absolutely nothing inside that hollow spire on the top. Hey, I think I see my heart over there in San Francisco. Right there by my left valve intake. I hope you had a great time on our field trip, scaling the Golden Gate Bridge, sneaking a peek at the Great Glass Pyramid, taking a gander at the Coit Tower fire hose, and fooling around at Fort Point. Until next time, go, go, gadget field trip. Peek.